All right, looks like we got uh, Lemmy Winks, a.k.a. Captain Insano, a.k.a. Don't Get Hit. This man got some L2 on tri jumps. Who I, I predict a lot, a lot of rushdown in this match. Yeah. He be swinging for the fences. Yeah. We got two Matrix versus two Thrax. Matrix has some godlike Jesus Christ uppercuts, but Thrax got that commando. Oh, look at them tri jumps. I told you. Must be reading my mind. He dropped it. I guess he wants to start it all over again. Oh, did you get it? Oh, that was a big guy. This man storm is a problem. Until she gets slapped. Don't try to cross up the end right now. You get boxed. Cyclops living on the credit of this bitch. What are we doing that? Oh, he shot him right there with the Alpha Glass. Again. I guess he's not trying to get hurt, killed right there. Oh, he did it Alright, this should be pretty good. Is that cap for solo sent? Yeah, that's a bad matchup. Oh, my goodness. Ooh. Got him. Hey, look. It's another MSP vs. Santhrax match. Fate of all is ended. Who will survive? In here. Nice punish. I'm not used to seeing hypnotic mind play on this beat. Yep. Yeah, these teams are both extremely godlike. Um, you'll see a lot of hate for these teams on YouTube, mainly because, you know, people, a lot of people don't understand the uh, subtleties and depth to, to, the, to these characters, to this game. But, I mean, there's so many different ways to play MSP and to play Sandrax. Uh, and, and I think a lot of people who don't play the game don't really realize that. But yeah, we got Storm vs. Storm. Um, I would definitely say Storm Cap is, to me, is more dangerous than Storm Psylocke. Because I feel like you don't have to work that hard for damage with Storm Cap, whereas with Storm Psylocke, you got to be real careful and uh, real strategic. And Scent Cap, you already know that shit's got like. All you got to do is block and call Commando. I mean, look, look, you're going to see the damage. And plus, if you're up there in super jump height, it's a fucking really ambiguous 50 50 with Commando. Oh, then you just get fast fly to death, too. Oh man, Commando's hurting though. So it's too bad that the MSP player doesn't have Storm, because they could just bait and then hail Storm uh, Commando to death. Let's see if Magnus can land a hit before he dies. Oh no, Boomerang gonna get you killed most of the time. Yeah, now this shit is free. Psylocke is the only character in the game who cannot block the unblockable. I think Magnetro made a video about that. Oh, cool. Good stuff. Well, shit, since you live relatively close to New York, man, you're welcome to go to my Marvel sessions if you ever want. I'm actually hosting a pretty big Dreamcast Marvel session on November 12th. There's, uh, there, there, there's probably some players from Connecticut who are actually going to the session. Uh, just send me a send me a message on Twitch, and I'll uh, send me your Facebook name and the description of your profile picture, and I'll add you to the chat group for the session. Hey, Hypnotic uh, is having trouble with that storm. I mean, with his storm. And I, I personally don't like the Storm vs. Sentinel matchup for Storm. Uh, even though I know you can win it, I just feel like the you know the damage output compared to damage taken is heavily in Sentinel's favor. You gotta play very, very carefully. Bro, just make a fake Facebook. I mean, you can put any picture you want, any name. It takes about two minutes. 
So if you want to go to a really good Marvel session, believe me, it's a, it's a great resource. We have about 35, 40 players from the New York, New Jersey, Connecticut region in the group. Damn, Captain Insano's on a roll today. This man cannot be stopped. I might have to pull out the MS Tron again. Shit. Somebody gotta beat this guy. Hypnotic versus Captain Insano. Oh, he got the pop up. Probably because as he was doing one lighting attack, he was doing the motion for another, so that caused his wide boost. Sentinel Iron Man is a highly, highly damaging duo. You got the highest damaging assist in the game and the most damaging character in the game. You can literally erase life bars in an instant. But he's having a tough time opening them up. Oh, nice float action. Got him. I would say Captain Insano's Iron Man is probably a work in progress. I think he has some decent combos, but he's got to work on his setups, you know, for the infinite. Not do falling hyper grab when you're coming down from super jump. That leaves Magneto extremely vulnerable. It also takes away probably his best attribute, which is his mobility. Ooh, yeah, this is this is looking rough for Maltitos. Sentinel with Cyclops assist can basically just fly back, wait for Magneto to come to him, and then just counter call Cyclops. Shit. Guard break? Nah, you gotta go for the guard break with Iron Man. Shit. Well, that's pretty much guaranteed 100% if you get it. Nah, he's gonna chip him out with Cyclops. Maybe not. This man has air to ground? Holy shit. Got upgrades in this bitch. Yo, respect to Captain Insano. And good shit to Hypnotic for closing it out. 